Amnesty International's human rights observers are much more than men and women in fluorescent vests. Hi. These observer delegations attend protests where Amnesty assesses there to be a chance that human rights could be compromised. But how are human rights connected to protests? The Universal Declaration of Human Rights states that everyone has the right to freedom of peaceful assembly and association. Our observers, who always travel in groups of at least two, are not involved in the protests they attend. They are equipped with clipboards and cameras monitoring the action to ensure police comply with human rights standards for the management of protests. Our observers monitor things like police allowing protesters to use recording devices, the appropriate use of any move on orders and requests for identification or use of search powers. The observers also monitor the conduct of police and protesters in the case of any arrests. Amnesty and our observers do not encourage unlawful behaviour from police or protesters. The right to protest peacefully is a defining feature of Australia's liberal democracy. In recent years, activists have exercised this right by taking to the street to protest contentious issues such as the treatment of refugees, indigenous rights, the cutting of old growth forests and the mining of coal and coal seam gas in Australia. Gonna run that mining man out of town. Sometimes our observers will be monitoring a protest and there will be no incidents to report upon. Thank you, Mark. But it is still important that our highly visible human rights observers are present to ensure the rights to protest are protected, and if they are not, the individuals and authorities are held to account.